let's uh, see. Yeah, we got the Inkling and Shulk coming onto the stage now. We'll see how this goes down. Of course, playing the most popular color, the, the schoolgirl purple. I mean, regardless of the schoolgirl outfit, it's still a really nice color, that purple, so I, I don't blame them. The other one that I like is the, like, the dark wow. one, the navy blue one. <laughs> okay, I wouldn't be surprised if Quan picked this for stream just because of the names. Bacon for life and pork chop sandwiches. Battle of... <laughs> Battle of the, the pig meat, man. Yeah. Uh, God. <laughs> yeah. Well, right. I mean, if I may educate the stream, uh, originally bacon was not as popular back in the day. Like, just to give you guys a little fun fact. Like the meat? Yeah, bacon was not popular. It's just, it's just pig fat, basically. Well, what ended up happening was like after you would cut all the meat, all the, all the, all the cuts of uh, basically pork, you would be left over with a lot of uh, pork belly. And that never really sold well. So at one point, you people were trying to figure out the best way to sell it. And with all the diets being really active around the 70s and the 80s, they figured out a way to market it as, you know, like as this big grander thing. You know, the Baconator from Wendy's is one of the first things to ever put it on a Yeah, but there was burger. nothing left on that stock already, deleting it with that smash art. There's no bacon, no fat, no pork belly, no nothing on that. Oh, yeah. So Pork Chop is going to be securing a little bit of a lead. And actually, bacon for life being a little bit okay. Oh, okay. I, like I was gonna say like it does, at this point, you can go for you can go for the vision because mm -hmm. it's it's already a lot of commitment there to stop yourself. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit difficult for bacon for life to really start bringing this back. Okay, the time is gonna go for the up smash. I mean, one of the big things about Inkling is that he's such a safe character, or they they're a very safe character, I should say, and so they don't have to commit and they don't have to push themselves to really throw out that damage. But Bacon for Life's being a little bit unsafe. Now he's finally starting to go for some grabs and then starting to work out fine. All right, tech chase. Oh, I'm like, Whoa. He goes for the jabs, not oh, quite. Yeah. <laughs> forward, forward throw. Yeah, Inkling. Uh, it, it, there's a bunch oh. of different aerials to be able to set up into those tech chase situations, so it's a matter of reacting. If you get a tech land like that, then roller will pretty much be guaranteed, and you try to throw out the vision, and wow, that DI was really off there. So I'm not going to lie. You usually want to be careful when you throw out things on like counters because you want to indefinitely know your opponent's going to hit you with something long-lasting, like we saw earlier with the roller, so you make sure you indefinitely have the counter. Mm -hmm. but it Yeah, I got five on the Inkling. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, anyway, Jol 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 Jolani wanted to bet with me, but uh, we're, we're, we're both agreeing with the same person. But anyways, here we go. Hey, man, don't doubt, don't doubt Pork Chop, man. That's the prime <laughs> choice cut of meat right there. Almost gets the O's, man. I'm telling you, prime choice. Mm -hmm. I like to see Pork Chop Sandwiches use a little bit more of uh, um, the different aerials that Shulk possesses. Uh, he's trying to play a ground game, which is fine with a character like Shulk, but he's not using the speed art to complement that. If he switches yeah. into like jump art or buster art and then uses those strong aerials that fair to keep and box out Inkling, I think he can do a little better, but he's throwing out those smash attacks is not going to quite get him anything. Even if it does land it, it's not quite going to be able to get the kill because it doesn't oh. have smash art available. So I question that forward smash there because it looked like he was only going to hit the ghost of PS2 with that forward smash. <laughs> and unfortunately, you're kind of a ghost yourself. Uh, man, if I would have bet against you guys, I would have lost money because that Inkling definitely took all the my money that I had. Yeah, I think Banging for Life was just a little bit shaky in the beginning, thought, was thinking that, oh man, this Shulk, he's going to be super safe, he's going to have these really large hitboxes, it's going to be so hard for me to get in, and yeah. then he started realizing, okay, never mind, he's just throwing out smash attacks, let's go <laughs> in, let's go and get those rollers, let's get those tech chases, and let's get those stocks, and he did that, and he did that perfectly to get to game one. It happens to some players too, where it, all you start looking at is the victory, you don't see the fight itself, mm -hmm. that's the problem, you're already throwing the Hail Mary when the fight is still going on, and you can get tunnel vision that way, so it's best to like kind of calm down, make sure you don't get tunnel vision then. Keep your keep your head in the game, man. Report chop sandwiches will keep his head in the game. And hopefully throw bacon life, bacon for life, out of the game here with this character change. Yeah, now he's a, playing a character that probably eats pork chop sandwiches a little bit more. We're going for Wario this time around. It's a little bit safer. I mean, uh, we'll have to see. It sacrifices some of the range, and usually in the boxing situations, that's where Inkling shines. He's got frame three jab. This is really strong aerials all around. Great air-to-air -air combat. So we'll have to see how this goes down, especially because of that range of neutral air. Might be stuffed out by things like that Diddy Kong Fair that Inkling possesses. Okay, how does he handle the bike? Try to force mash it, oh, but I like too it. much HP on it, yeah. Way too much HP. But I did like how Portal tried to capitalize immediately with the Portal under the confusion. I mean, we got 112%, man. If you're looking like a one-trick pony, you definitely want to come out with just more than one other option. Yeah, you can tell he's probably looking for one aerial to put him off stage or just a back air to potentially put into the tech situation, but we got the ledge scenario here. 
Gonna have to get the edge guard somehow. Not quite gonna be able to find it there, but still. 131%, and this is what I'm talking about. Inkling doesn't have to commit super hard to put his opponent in one of these bad situations where Inkling can get his win condition. I like it. Trying to set up with the bike and make sure throwing uh, boards add a little bit of pressure, especially off the stage. Oh, that forward smash. And unfortunately, that extended the hitbox of not only Wario's forward smash, but Inkling's up smash as well. As you saw, a little bit of distance in there. Alrighty, I'll throw up there and uses that bomb. Just forces him to go a little bit off stage. But Wario does have extra movement options available. As long as the bike is available for him. If the bike's on stage, then that would be even worse for him. He doesn't have any options left in the air after that. Oh. No, I, mean, I was going to say, man. He, he might not die there, but he is going to take some damage. Mm -hmm. I, I like the idea knowing that he would probably mash out, so you try to follow up with an aerial instead. All right. Forward smash. It's not going to take it just yet. With the bite toss here, and he really tries to capitalize off it. I feel yeah. like Fortrop is kind of... He's kind of scared, man. He's going. He's looking for an opportunity to get the stuff, but unfortunately, is when you're coming in hot and you're throwing a lot of hitboxes, you're gonna get whiff punish like that, and that's what Bacon for Life was able to get there. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I like to see Pork Chop. I mean, it's the same deal with the Shulk. I feel like if uh, he maybe looked at a couple more bots uh, from like top level users of the characters that he's playing, he, he could get a better sense of his game plan. Because I haven't seen like too many nares, too many fast fall nares, you know, up yeah. tilts into setups. He's going for reads like that, which is fine with a character like Wario. You can definitely do that. But I feel like optimizing him if you find those setups, because Wario's an amazing setup character. So if you can yeah. nail those perfectly, then this is this is where that character shines. And we're not quite seeing that yet. And again, another up smash. I thought that killed actually for a second because he was like sticking to the top of the map. But and it's like you said it, right? Setup character indeed. Then the thing that uh, Poor Job is kind of messing up here is like he has no setups. He's only going for the execution already. And when you go for the execution, we're gonna take a loss like that. Yeah, I mean, it's just, yeah, it's one of those things. It's like if you're trying to play the game on your own, not really looking at everything mm -hmm. else, then it can be kind of difficult to think about that. But Wario, I mean, what the the big thing that makes him such a formidable character is that he does have reliable ways to take the stock. He doesn't have to rely on straight hits the way uh, Pork Chop was playing. You know, you have down tilt to dash attack. You have landing neutral air fast fall into imagination. You have up tilt to waft. You have a bunch of other things you can use. We didn't quite see that yet, but uh, hopefully you can look back at the VOD and think about uh, how to reclaim.